students, welcome to the science class with Miss Rosa Kuhn or Miss Om. Alright, here is the first topic that we have to learn is about things. Things around us. But things around us in primary three. We can divide them into two groups that is living and non living things. But before you have to learn in many topics, the first thing that you have to know is about the vocab. If you know the vocabulary, you can learn is that chapter is very well because you have to know what is that mean, what is that mean. Okay, it's easy for you to learn. Okay, let's start. One, living thing. Two, non-living thing. Three, classification. Four, characteristic. Move. Six. Grow. Seven. Breed. Eight. Reproduce. Nine. Raise one. Ten. Alive. Okay, that's all ten words that you have to know. Now we have practice reading. You have to read this word, English word and Thai word, two times. Ready? Start. Living thing. Living thing. Non-living thing. Non-living thing. Classification. Classification. Characteristic. Characteristic. Move. Move. Grow. Grow, breed, breed, reproduce, reproduce, race pond, race pond, alive, alive. Okay. Now it's some word that you already learned is living things and non living things, right? You have a memory in your head from primary one and two. Now you just keep more eight or seven words that you have to keep memorized in your head. Okay, now we have to practice matching about the vocabulary. Are you ready? Before you do the matching, you get your paper, paper ready, notebook, pencil, or eraser. I have ten words here, and I have the meaning about the ten words. You have to match it. For example, you write number one to ten in your book or your notebook. Oh, sorry, in your paper or your notebook you have, and then number one, you find the meaning in Thai A B C D E F G H I J. Okay, number one living thing, and you write the letter that matching from number one. Okay, for example, number one, living thing. What is the meaning of the living thing? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay, I give you for three minutes to do that. If you are ready, set, start.
Alright, time is up. Now let's check your answer. Are you ready? No erasing. Okay. I have. I want you to know that it's a practice. Do not worry about that. Okay. Let's check. Number one. What is the answer for number one? Yes. Number one is C. Number two is G. Number three is A. Four is J. Five is E. Six is I. Seven is H. Eight is B. Nine is D. And the last one is F. I know you can do that. All right, let's. Here, as I tell you, things around us in the earth, we can group them into two things: a living and non-living things. Living and non-living thing is the thing that present on earth can be divided into two groups. The two groups is one is the first group is living things the living things are things alive they are made up of cells when living thing dies they become non-living thing the keyword of living thing is you can find the keyword of that the keyword is the word that makes you sure this thing is the living is alive alive mean thing that have life you can survive okay book two is about non-living things non-living things are things that do not arise but one time they have life because one alive or thing that's never been alive the keywords of non-living thing is correct is do not alive that means it have it has no life okay living thing as i tell you the keyword is for our life that means things are alive people are human animal group of tree a plant group of fungi and the group of microorganism is a very tiny limbs okay and this pictures we show you about different types of living thing okay this one is an example for you but you can find out we have many living things on earth all right non-living things non-living thing as i tell you the keyword of non-living thing is do not alive things that do not alive things are not alive is here a here are the example of things are not alive they do not have life okay but non-living thing can group into two group group one is once alive and the group two once alive mean one time that they have life for example this is a chicken chicken can become a fly chicken and the tree can become wood. this group one and the group two is never been alive never been never know they do not have life from the beginning just as a rock stone soil wood i'm sorry air or water that's our example okay next we have things things in the living thing were once alive were once alive that means one time they have life okay we have rice here cook rice and we have a rice and then the rice is come from a rice field you have steak a salmon steak and you have to fry fish and it can have life before it's a salmon fish next is coal this coal is come from wood that's burning wood this wood has come from the tree okay this thing 
is the group of non-living things that once alive. Next thing, which were never alive, they do not have life from the beginning. Okay, never alive. They have no life. For example, a laptop, mobile phone to rock, plastic bag, sneaker, a water bottle, fan, and a key. This thing, a non-living thing, were never alive. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Grouping things into living and non-living things help in classification or help, sorry, help in classifying them. Classifying means grouping them into group. The classification makes it easier for us to learn about the things around us. Here, we group them into living things. And another one is non-living thing. Okay, now let's check and train your brains on. I have letter A, B, C, and D, and E. Five picture. And this group, which one is not belong to the group? One, two, three. Press your hand. Which one? Yes, the answer is B. B is not belong to the group because B is living thing. That is a living thing. Okay. We have A, B, C, D, E. Letter D is not belong to the group. Who can tell me why letter D is not belong to this group? Because the helicopter is non-living. Next, A, A, B, C, D, and E. Which one or which thing is not belong to this group? It is E. Grasshopper is not belong to this group because the grasshopper is a living thing. Okay, the last one. A, B, C, D, E. Which things is not belong to the group? It is C. Because C is non-living thing. Now I have you two questions. Your exercise you can do is for practice. Okay, this one for classifying living and non-living things from the word box. You have to write in your paper or your notebook. You have to group them. For example, we have a parrot, lion, book, air, table, boy, sun, burger, tree, bag, cat, and snail. You have to shoot and grouping the word above into group of living and non-living things. Do not hurry? You can practice in your house if you don't know you can ask your mom and dad to help you but first of all you have to try it first okay, the next question you have to find living and non-living things in the picture below and this one is similar from the first question but here i do not give you any word right you have to find things in the picture and you have to write down by yourself you have to write down living things what is a living thing in the picture? You have to write one, two, three, four, five, and six. You have to find that a non-living thing in the picture. And here you can get help from your mom or your dad or your grandma or granddad, whatever. Okay, here I have two exercise for you. You can try it anytime if you want. Alright, so here we have two end of this clip just for introductions about topic that we have to learn here now and see you next time but before we just make it next time you have to practice about the vocabulary this is a part okay so see you later